New bizarre details in the case of a judge's drug overdose, more Missouri marijuana developments, and a milestone for a St. Louis legend. That and more today in The Sift. Today's SIFT brought to you by Rothman Furniture. Welcome to the SIFT. I'm Gabrielle Biondo, filtering through some of the most talked about stories in St. Louis. New details about what investigators found at that hunting cabin where former St. Clair County Judge Joe Crist died of a cocaine overdose. The Belleville News Democrat reports a newly opened search warrant reveals what federal agents seized, including a dollar bill with white powder residue, a jewelry box with white residue, and a glass plate with a razor, straw, and white residue. And get this, the B&D says a red vial with white powder fell onto the autopsy table as Christ's body was being undressed. Now, guns were also seized, but it was a hunting cabin. People are sounding off on the story like this comment, thanking the judges for their actions. Meanwhile, we told you about Mayor Slay's online pot poll. Well, now KSDK says 13 petitions related to the legalization of marijuana and hemp products were approved for circulation, clearing the way for voters to decide on the issue in November. And speaking of Missouri, the Riverfront Times has a list of the 14 most mispronounced cities in the state, including Nevada, Versailles, and Hayti. But back to St. Louis, congratulations to music legend Chuck Berry. The Post-Dispatch reports he performed his 200th show, sold out of course, at the Duck Room Wednesday night. <laughs> If you missed it, Barry will perform again February 19th, making it 201 Duck Room shows. You want more on these stories? Get links to all of them right below this video. And don't forget to follow Real Time STL on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube. We leave you with the St. Louis Meta Moment. Remember that dog rescue we showed you earlier this week? Well, now firefighters are being recognized for their bravery.